Vasil Lomachenko has come out and admitted what me and others have been saying about his fight against Teofimo Lopez. He has admitted that Lopez's size and reach made it difficult to get to him. But yeah, he's still calling for a rematch. He said, quote, right now it's hard for me to comment on the fight. I understand everyone is frustrated, but I want to watch the fight first before commenting. Because of his size and his reach, it was not easy to get to him. I just want to say to all the fans, I am sorry if I let you guys down. I want to thank all of my team and I want to let them know we will move forward. It, d it depends on Lopez with regards to a rematch. Uh, it, if he can give me a rematch, of course I am ready. Of course I want it. End quote. So yeah, people dismissing the things that me and others have said in terms of the reasons why Lomachenko wasn't more aggressive in the early rounds. He was on the end of Lopez's reach and he was in there with someone who's very physically strong and who hits much harder than the people Lomachenko is accustomed to fighting. And you'll be surprised, even a great fighter like Lomachenko, you'd be surprised how they react when they're up against somebody who has reach on them, physical strength on them, and who is hitting them harder than have been hit before in a professional ring. I mean, just look at Guillermo Rigondeaux, a tremendously skilled fighter, but he was on the wrong end of that equation when he fought Lomachenko and he quit. A great fighter like Rigondeaux quitting, but he'd never been in that position before where he was up against somebody that was just bigger, stronger, just as skilled as him and was keeping him on the outside Brigando didn't want no parts of it. Now Lomachenko didn't quit, of course, against Lopez. But he was nowhere near as aggressive as he normally is. He was far more cautious. He was far more circumspect in the early rounds. And he's admitted it now. The reason why is because of Lopez's size and his reach. He managed to keep Lomachenko at bay with those attributes. And that's all, all there is to it. Some people... Diehard Lomachenko fans, of course, are talking about the injury. Oh, it's going to be different if he's not injured and the fight was a lot closer than the judges had it. Well, it was a lot closer than at least one of the judges had it. I would agree with that. Possibly two. But I have seen some people make a case that the fight could have been a draw. Personally, I think that's a stretch. I think this fight, at, at best for Lomachenko, he lost by two rounds. At best, if you really want to stretch it, like stretch Armstrong, then maybe what one round <laughs> Lomachenko lost by, but that, that's a to me, that's a bit of a crazy stretch. In terms of the fight I saw, Lopez by three or four rounds is more like the reality of what happened. But either way, there's not many people who would argue against. Lopez getting the decision even the Lomachenko fans most some of them are saying Lomachenko deserved a draw he won by a point very few are saying it was a robbery for example so Lopez was the deserved winner as far as I'm concerned and you can't blame him for wanting to go in a different direction rather than fighting Lomachenko in a rematch I think Lomachenko is going to have to go back to the drawing board and if he wants to stay at uh, 135 pounds, he's going to have to pick his next opponent very carefully. Because these bigger guys, these younger guys, they're going to be a problem for him. The likes of Ryan Garcia, the Devin Haney's, I mean, even Tank Davis. I know he was running for, uh, running from Lomachenko for a long time. But they're starting to see vulnerability in Lomachenko now. He's lost his second fight. So, you know, taking his second loss. So, yeah. Lomachenko's going to have to pick his fights carefully at this point. If he wants to be as dominant as he used to be, he may have to move back down to 130 pounds. That might be the only way. Because at lightweight, these guys are big, they're young, they're strong, and there's a lot of talent in the division. At this point, um, 
if he really wants to run it back with Lopez that badly, he might have to challenge a Devin Haney or a Ryan Garcia and get to one of them before they get to Lopez. Because then he could force a Lopez rematch. So let's see. Greatness is when a fighter is up against it. That's when he proves his greatness. When he's up against it, when he gets written off, but yet he can come back against the odds. So we're going to see exactly how great Lomachenko is. He's only in his early 30s. So he should be able to do something. He shouldn't just be completely downhill from here. He should have some good wins in him. But whether they're at 135 pounds, that's another matter. We'll see. I mean, Roberto Duran, the great fighter that he was, he lost plenty of fights throughout his career. But yet he was able to come back. Like when he fought Davey Moore and destroyed him. Uh, years later in his career, you know, he was knocked out by uh, Tommy Hearns. And then years later, he fought the guy who knocked Hearns out, Iran Barkley, at middleweight. Think about that. Roberto Duran's best years were at lightweight. Here he is in his mid to late 30s up at middleweight, fighting a huge middleweight in Iran Barkley and beating him over 15 rounds, dropping him in that fight. It was an incredible fight, by the way. If you haven't seen Roberto Duran versus Iran Barkley, that's a must watch. Great fight. And that's why Roberto Duran was remembered as a great, because even though he took some tough losses in his career, Kirtland, Kirtland Lang beat him. Um, Sugar, Sugar Ray Leonard, obviously, in the infamous No Mass fight where Roberto Duran quit. Because a lot of fighters never come back. They never regain their reputation after quitting. Roberto Duran did. You know, he got blasted out in two rounds by Tommy Hearns. Just destroyed, decimated. But yet he regained his honor in other fights. You know, like when he fought, um, as I say, Aaron Barkley. He beat Leonard the first time, of course. The uh, Davey Moore fight uh, and so on. So, I mean, even Marvin Hagler, he gave a very good account of himself against Marvin Hagler. He gave Marvin Hagler far more issues than Tommy Hearns did. And that shows you the whole styles make fights adage where Hearns destroyed Duran in two rounds. Then Hearns was stopped in three rounds by Marvin Hagler. But Duran went the distance with Marvin Hagler and gave him lots of problems. Styles make fights. So... Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about what Lomachenko has now come out and said. Lopez's size and reach made it difficult to get to him. Is that an indication that he needs to drop back down in weight or should he stay at 135 and try and find a road back to Lopez by taking on one of the other young guns? Let me know, people.